International Air Transport Association is not happy with the failure of government to repatriate nearly $1 billion of airlines' revenues trapped in their countries. Nigeria is owing the foreign airlines operating into the country $143 million of their ticket sales. And Lillian Ezemak reports. The clearing house for over 290 global airlines is persuading Nigeria and other governments to abide by international agreements and treaty obligations. This will enable airlines to repatriate close to $1 billion in blocked funds from the sale of tickets, cargo space and other activities. Why has Nigeria yet to pay the foreign airlines? It happens when the country is in the house of financial crisis, especially, especially when, it, when it comes to monetary issues. So um, I just pray that the federal government will discuss with, with, with IATA and the airlines involved and then keep, keep, keep giving that guarantee that the money will be remitted at the appropriate time. Let them strike a balance, let them negotiate and then let them agree on the repatriation amount maybe on a monthly basis or quarterly basis. The airlines as it were post-COVID are grappling with lots of uh, financial burnout. IATA actually forecasted that we're going to have just $38 million uh, burnout this year but as of the uh, first half of this year we're already uh, having a burnout of about $95 million. Uh, what is the impact of the situation on air travel in Nigeria? The cost of traveling out of Nigeria will be higher and uh, this is going to be a disincentive for the growth of tourism and aviation in Nigeria. See, the lesson for us here is that we, we, while we look at these huge funds we are remitting, we should also be thinking about how we can participate and, allow, allow, and, and have some of these funds retained in the country. Once you have an airline that you are designated to operate, it takes the flag. And from the flag, and uh, anytime you need support, you come out as your, you come out and support as your flag and your national carrier on that route. Assuming we had airlines flying into it, then it will cross out itself. This is why we need to have our own national carrier. Director General International Air Transport Association Willie Walsh said the airlines' funds are being blocked from repatriation in nearly 20 countries, including Bangladesh, $146.1 million. Lebanon, $175.5 million, Nigeria, $143.8 million, and Zimbabwe, $142.7 million. But the body said there has been positive progress in reducing blocked funds in Bangladesh and Zimbabwe, while Venezuela has cleared its debt. International Air Transport Association is encouraging governments to work with the industry to resolve the issues that are preventing airlines from repatriating funds. This will enable aviation to provide the connectivity needed to sustain jobs and energize economies as they recover from COVID-19. Lelian Ezemark, TVC News, Lagos.